Today we're in Old Sacramento. It's about a 45 mile drive from our hometown of Auburn, California, located in the foothills of the Sierra Mountain Range. We travel the world looking for fun and new adventures. I'm Carrie. I'm Dave. Oh, we made it. Welcome to American Travelers. Dave grew up as a professional drummer before he went into the video production world as a sound mixer. Carrie followed her mother's footsteps as a nurse. She loves distance running and even finished two 100 mile races. Our purpose is to show awesome destinations and share our new adventures. We've got a bunch of great stops to show you. We'll give some tips on how to budget your trip. Along with some history and culture of each destination. So come join us on American Travelers. Old Town Sacramento. This is a river town and I'll tell you what, the Delta King is parked right here and that's where we're gonna stay. This is an amazing old paddle wheel boat. It's got tons of history here. They have 44 little enchanted staterooms and we're gonna stay in one of them tonight. And along with your stay, you get this great hot breakfast in the morning. So we are about ready to go out and check out Old Town Sack, look around this boat, and we wanna take you with us, come on. The Delta King was built in Glasgow, Scotland and Stockton, California. Its first journey to San Francisco was in 1927. As you walk through the lobby, it feels like going back in time. We get our key and it's off to our stateroom with a river view. Originally there were 88 staterooms, but now they have been converted to 44 larger rooms. We're pretty surprised at the size of this room. I love this room. Our stateroom has a view of the river. This is crazy beautiful. I want you to come check out this bathroom. It has the old tiles, and then of course a pedestal sink. Looks like an old one, but this is what really has got me. Look at this shower. It's got the old shower with the, look at those fixtures, and cloth feet. Check this out. Okay, I've never seen one of these, but it just makes total sense. It's a pull chain, gravity fed flush Ooh. toilet. Check it out. Okay, let's pull it again. <laughs> Next, we take the stairs leading to the old-fashioned lounge. Lots of beautiful wood cabinetry and art depicting the time of when this riverboat was in use. Not sure how they created these, but they look like paintings printed on glass, but painted on the back side of the glass, not the front side of the glass. After visiting the lounge, we head back to our stateroom. It's such a nice walk with the view of the tower bridge in the background. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do. Okay. <laughs> that one. I'm gonna take a tripod. So we're gonna go portable. We're gonna go portable with uh, well, kind of portable with the, the bigger camera and then the small one that she's holding. And one thing in this room here, what I th was just laying down for a second and thought, wouldn't it have been nice to be going down the river? Well, just imagine in 1926, when this boat on the first trip from San Francisco to Sacramento, it took 10 and a half hours. But you're on this huge boat. Look at this thing behind me, it is like, It'd be pretty comfortable to travel in this. Uh, back then, it was $3.50 for a stateroom, and there were 88 staterooms. And for a dollar, if you wanted to, you could sleep on the deck. We exit the starboard side of the boat that leads us to Old Sacramento. Old Sac is a popular tourist town with horse-drawn buggies, plenty of specialty shops, and a railroad museum. Today we're checking out a classic car show right here on the old streets of Sacramento. Trains were a very important part of Sacramento's history. It was Theodore Judah, a civil engineer's passion to build a transcontinental railroad. The railroad was completed in 1869 and enabled products to be delivered from the East Coast. Hey, now these are cool for the 4th of July. I couldn't help but notice some of the cool things you have out here. Now, now what is this? What, what's the name of your um, shop? My shop's called Sparkles. 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 And everything in there is sparkles. sparkles. Everything's got glitter. I yeah. love it. Thank you. I 
I bet you a lot of other people do too. Yes, I never thought of it. Yes, yeah. Well, I think we should go in and take a look. Just look at these jeans here. Oh my. I wore those to go see Phantom of the Opera in Vegas. And yeah. I was sitting down, the lady next to me, she was just look at your hands. And every time I moved my legs, I was sending fizzles all over the city. This is something you could wear to Vegas and, oh, yes. and fit right in. Exactly. It's a feather wig. It's a feather wig. It comes in all colours, you know, orange and rainbow colours, black. I've never it's seen a feather wig. Tell me, how much is something like that? $24.95. Yeah. How much is this thing? It's not the same. She, oh. yeah. <laughs> you can't. She said that she could have sold it a hundred times. Well, I guess I have good taste. Anyway, Sparkles has such a wide variety of unique items. If you were in a beauty pageant or a parade, this would be a great place to shop. Oh yeah, it sort of makes you feel like a, a princess, a princess from England. Nice. Oh, it lights up. <laughs> put that on, Carrie. Take your glasses off. Put that on. Yeah, it doesn't go with the glasses. Yeah. Okay. You, you wouldn't lose her. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, if you wear, yeah, if you wear that, I uh, will not lose you. Like, say, we're <laughs> Carrie. Okay, there, I see something blinking somewhere, and that's her. So back to the streets. We see even more horse-drawn carriages. One thing I forgot to mention, you need to watch where you're walking, if you know what I mean. Evangeline's is well-known through Sacramento as a place to go for your Halloween costume. What do you know? It's a balloon blowing clown. Pretty common to see several street artists here. Carrie's wondering, when is she going to get some ice cream? Frozen in time ice cream parlor looks like a good choice. I want an ice cream. Okay, Carrie's first. I'll take a cup and let's see, a pistachio almond. And then my turn. And then one pistachio. See, I'm the, I'm the one that always ends up paying. What's the deal here? Back to the cars on the street. There's a lot of folks out here just for the car show. We're interested in seeing more shops, though. Wow, look at these scary heads. Now that's right out of the baby boomer generation. Betty Boop and Tweety Bird. And that's cuteness just anyone would like. Next stop is the Wells Fargo Museum. Just imagine, after a hard week of gold panning, you ride your horse down to the Wells Fargo office. They would weigh your gold and the reward is yours. On the way in, it would be a good idea to keep a sharp lookout for those gold snatching bandits though. Danny Ann Saloon is a must see when coming to Old Sacramento. They have a very cool collection of antiques. The food is really good and everyone here is having a great time. After your meal, you can enjoy some old pinball machines upstairs. Back towards the river, we see some other popular restaurants. We talked about taking a river cruise and decided today is a good day for our trip on the Capitol Hornblower. The Hornblower can hold up to 120 guests and is available for private events. We're on the Hornblower. We are going to be taking off in a little bit and heading up the river. It's going to be great. We're on the Capitol Hornblower and we're doing five cruises today. And they're all one hour, it's all narrated. We talk about uh, the Gold Rush country, how Old Sacramento came about. We talk about the Tower Bridge. We talk about I Street, and it's really nice. We have a lot of charters on here uh, that come in from the schools. I'm ex-Navy, and uh, then when I came out of the Navy, I found the only thing I could do was dive. So I opened my own diving company since 81. So I'm a commercial diver, and I'm a full captain. I've been with Hornblower. It's going on five years now. That's my radar. Radar, so that shows you depth? No, that tells me everything is going on all around the vessel. So, all these little dots right here, that's those boats. Oh, oh. So, Carrie, are we going to hit a bridge? Yeah, we could. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's telling me that he's a backseat driver. I can't stand them. The Hornblower takes us north under the I Street Bridge toward the confluence of the American and Sacramento Rivers. This is a high-tech water treatment facility for the city of Sacramento. We reach Discovery Park at the confluence, and then it's time to turn around and head back toward Old Sacramento. We see this cool military boat. Looks like there's some firepower happening here. As we come back, we see the skyline of modern-day Sacramento. Kind of an oasis on the river, wouldn't you say? Skipping to the Tower Bridge, this is Sacramento's most known bridge, just like the Golden Gate is to San Francisco. 
As you can see, this is Sacramento's water playground. Sacramento is known as California's farm to fork capital. In fact, locals used to call it Sacra Tomato. One surprise is that Sacramento is the leading producer of domestic caviar. Cruising back towards the dock, our captain is doing a great job of bringing in the boat. Aye, aye, Captain. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. There's that smiley couple, that smiley guy there. <laughs> yeah, smiley. So here. you're smiling more now. You've got a beer in your hand. Yeah, this is actually our first date. Nope. Your first date? Yep, we're having our first date today. Okay, you know that couple that you just were interviewing? Yeah. Okay. I think that they just met their online daters because I heard him say to her, I wasn't listening, but I was kind of listening, and I heard him say to her, your picture doesn't do you justice, and I heard him say the same thing. So who knows, maybe there's a little connection. Did you pick up a little bit of a spark there? Yeah, Carrie, I think you're onto something. Now we walk back to the Delta King for the evening. So here in Old Sac, you got a view of West Sacramento, the Pyramid Building, what an odd building, but it used to be the Money Store Building. It was one of the most controversial buildings ever built here in Sacramento. During the gold rush, all the gold came down out of the foothills where we live, and it come down here, and then the gold was taken through the river, all the way through the Delta, into San Francisco, to the port, and then shipped to other countries. So one thing interesting about Sacramento is you have this really old Western feel, but then you turn around and you get these glass buildings, so it's very metropolitan, very modern. Really interesting history here in Sacramento. From the deck of our third floor stateroom, we take in the sights. This is great, and then watching the sunset, sitting out here, watching the boats go by, there's nothing more relaxing than this. As the sun sets, all the lights really sparkle, and we are having a great time here on the Delta King. We would highly recommend a couple nights stay here when coming to Old Sacramento. Coming up, we go to a car show in our hometown of Auburn, California. First stop is downtown Auburn. Then we check out the cars at the Auburn Air Show. Here we are in our hometown, Auburn, California. It's the gold country, so cars, gold, they all kind of mix. Anyway, we brought our own classic car, a 1964 Corvette that you see behind us. We're gonna show that tonight, and we're gonna go look, see what else is here. There's a lot of beer, a lot of food. There she is, proud owner of a 1964 Corvette. I'm in the process of getting an air cleaner because it's a new carburetor made out of composite material. I went, I went to touch it, and then I thought, oh, I don't dare. <laughs> I don't wanna put a fingerprint on this car. <laughs> Here's the interior. That's pretty original. Let's go take a look. There's some other Corvettes up there. Here's a Cuda. Got to look at that real quick. That's very nice. Good old 383. So they even have cars out of the movies. Look, it's Tom Maynard. My name is Steve. This is my hobby, and it's a it's a solar powered quadricycle. It looks like a little car. I wanted a horseless carriage, 
And so I started building it. It's a marriage of old technology, say 1900, and new technology because it has a solar top and solar power. I use it every day around town here, and it's legal. The whole car is made like a piece of furniture. It's all glued and dadoed and doweled. This one's made out of oak, ash, and there are, there's a plywood side that's, that's birch. The motor is just an electric motor. It's very similar to a golf cart motor, but not quite the same. And then the controller is uh, kind of special. It's, it's an exotic controller. It's all user adjustable with just a screwdriver to make it go, uh, to make the car go faster or slower or to stop faster or to speed up faster. The solar top provides power into the battery system and the batteries you can see underneath the seat. And then the batteries provide power, 36 volt battery, 36 volt system provides power to the controller and that provides power to the motor depending on how far I depress the go pedal up in the front. I don't call it a gas pedal, there's no gas. I just call it a go pedal. And then, and then the motor's, the power is transferred from the motor up to a jack shaft which then in turn drives the rear wheel. That's, that's as simple as it is. It's, it's as simple as I could possibly make it. Uh, it has regenerative braking, so if I'm slowing down or stopping or coasting downhill, anytime I'm going downhill, it's regenerating power back into the battery system. Plus it also charges as I'm going, anytime the sun's shining, it's charging. Never buy gas for it. Never, it's always ready to go. It'll go about, well, I don't know how far it'll go, but I know I can drive to Lincoln and back, and that's 18 miles. Wow. And that's a thousand foot drop in elevation to get there. So when you're lifting me up a thousand feet, that takes a lot of energy. <laughs> and the motor is here, and it's, 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 I buy them from Wisconsin. I tried as much as possible everything American made, as much as I could. Uh, there's not, you can't buy everything at a reasonable rate, you know? yeah. so, the, but the controller comes from England, it's the best one I could find. Coming up, Steve tells us a little more about his Sunshine Solar Car. Then we head over to the Auburn Airport to see some beautiful classic cars. The wheels are, they're 12 spokes and the wheels are hand, it takes a long time to make a wheel. It took me two months to learn how to make a wooden wheel. There are no books anymore to learn about that stuff. So I had to just look and kind of, kind of, you know, try to figure out how they did it. This is my, this is my parking brake. Take that out now, the, you see it's... Wait, do that again, put that in there. When I park it, I just pull, I push this and stick this in here and it holds the, you see it holds the brake against the tire. That's all there is to it. It's like a, I, it's just a stagecoach brake is what it is. If we go find an old stagecoach, that's how that's they had exactly it. That's exactly what they had. They, and the handle usually was up further so that the guy could put his leg on it and uh, put his foot on it and push. That's how they did it. You know, a hundred years ago, that's what they had. Like I said, it's just a marriage. Uh, it's a marriage of old and new technology. It's my everyday little car. And at least in its sunny days, in fact, it's getting close to dark. I'm gonna to have to drive home pretty soon because I have no lights on it. It's a sunshine car. And you can find it on the internet, sunshinecar.net. This guy is, he's innovative and what a great thing he's doing. He could, he's gonna save energy. He's the eco man of the future. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not an environmental nut, but I no. do, but I do believe that it's important and that's oh, yeah. why it's here. I, that's, that's why I did it this way. I mean, way. it's great. It's a solar, instead of doing solar golf it'd cart. It would be easier to make a gas station. And he found that he found ways around the lot and he could drive this thing anywhere but the freeway. So, very that's, cool. That's exactly right. There's a little glitch in the California law that allows me to drive a quad motorcycle. That's the same law that allows you see the people that drive the little scooters Scooter, around? Yeah, yeah. It's the same law. Those are quadricycles by the definition of the law. And this is a quadricycle too, only it's a two-seat quadricycle. That's the only difference. Right. And mine's made out of wood, yeah. you know, well, instead of in a factory somewhere. Very nice job. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, very, very yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Another great car show is at the Auburn Airport. We see this pretty cool yellow car, 
not sure what kind it is, but it sure looks like a lot of fun. After looking at it, I think it may be a replica. I can see us driving one of these. Carrie has taken a real liking to this one. For the car enthusiast, there's every kind of car you could think of here. Enjoy the ride. And even a great military jeep display. Thanks for watching American Travelers.